my name is Reptile Ryan. I'm with Hands On Wildlife Safari. Um, I'm one of the many, many animal trainers and handlers that uh, Hands On has. Um, as a matter of fact, we got with me here today Gabby, who's uh, one of our interns turned volunteer, and uh, Sarah here that's actually getting ready to go off to vet school to work with big animals like this. Now, Kira is a four year old female, um, Florida Panther Cougar hybrid. Um, she's been with us since birth. She was actually born here at our facilities. Um, we house all of her animals here at Jungle Adventures. Um, the cool thing about the panther is that they are the world's most endangered species of large cat. Now you see her look around a little bit every once in a while because, well, she's going to see things going on. People moving in the background, film crews, birds, snakes. Her eyes are very attuned to that kind of thing. She's going to want to take a look at that, so we let her do that. But as you guys can see, they're a mass massively uh, vicious animal. <laughs> we love Kira here. She's done a couple of uh, TV shoots for us and things like that with um, different organizations. Um, but the fact that we've been able to raise her from a cub is very great. Unfortunately, we can't continue to do stuff like this without help from um, sponsors, um, mostly from people who donate money to us to allow us to still do this so we can educate um, other people about this animal. Because unfortunately, the only thing that's going to bring this cat back from the brink of extinction, I pretty much believe, is going to be education. Um, it's helped us so far with the eagles, with the alligators, and everything else. Educating ourselves and other people. Did you guys know that the number two killer of the Florida Panthers in the United States is actually cars? The number one is the fact that we're taking out their houses. Um, they can't live in the woods. This little girl right here in the wild, she's going to want about 100 to 125 square miles for her roaming area. That's so she has enough land to roam, enough to hunt, and a place to raise her cubs when she has cubs. Uh, the male's going to want 200 square miles. Unfortunately, we built our houses where they don't want to live there anymore. So now they're forced to be near each other. One male panther comes across another male panther, one will die. Um, one will kill the other to take over that territory. So we've done that. Yes, you're being very good, Kira. Yes. Now a couple of things about Florida panthers that a lot of people don't realize because I mean, let's face it, how often do you get to get this close to one of these animals? Is the fact that their paws, now she's going to let me touch her paws a little bit, but their paws are actually webbed. You can't stick your finger through. What? Yes, that's me. Yes, I love you too. But having webbed paws allows them to walk through the marshes without sinking down in the muds of our Everglades, which is where the highest majority of these cats are. Um, also, you can't see it on her, but on the top of her head, she's got a little bit of a cow lick. Um, that cow lick is something that... Florida Panthers have. Now that's actually a genetic mishap, but the fact that these guys don't have much room to roam, they end up inbreeding, which brings out a lot of the bad genetics. Also her really long tail over there is another characteristic of a Florida Panther. Um, their tails are longer than most of the other large cats and puma species because they run at a very high rate of speed and they use it for balance. Now black panthers, unfortunately there's no such thing. Um, black panthers have never ever been documented in the wild or seen. They say that panthers don't have the genetics to actually have the all black gene. But they do have a cousin called a jaguar and the leopard, both in the puma species, that do have the genetics and are commonly born all black. Now some of those have been let loose and actually the, the um, jaguar, I believe it is, used to roam all the way down into this part of the United States a long, long time ago. So it's very possible there are remnants around and that's what people are seeing. But nine times out of ten, what you see is this animal with a heavy dirt on its coat stuck to that oily layer. That's her water repellent. Ooh, nice yawn. See them big old teeth in there? And, um, and about dusk and dawn is when these guys move, low light situations. And when they move extremely fast, it's very hard to get a good look at it. So people automatically assume that it is black. And that's where Black Panther um, comes from. But they're not really real. Um, nobody's ever had one. Like I said, mostly jaguars and leopards. Hi, huh, Kira. 